So let us do. So let us do lesson 62, BOS mastery. For those who don't know BOS, what it means, it means break of structure. The question is, guys, if you open your chart and you have the breaking of resistance, a very, very powerful resistance breaking, what do you do? You see, many people don't understand what to do here. And like I keep saying, you have to know the strategy. What happens if support breaks, if resistance breaks? What do I do if a pattern is formed, if a double top is formed, which strategy do I use? And that's why I keep saying, guys, that um, in my mentorship program, I have designed a strategy for break of structure. It's called BWA. That, strat that strategy is only when a support breaks or resistance breaks and it tells you what to do. But I felt like I need us to have this conversation of what, what really do you do, even if you're not touching the strategy, I want to give you an idea of how to go about it. And there is a rule. Anytime a resistance is broken, don't dive in immediately because most of the time, the, the breaking here, it can be either a fake out. And I keep saying this, it can be either a fake out or it can be a continuation. So I want to tell you that anytime you find... um. Anytime you find a market that has broken a resistance, you need to ask yourself, am I trading a continuation or am I trading a fake out? When we say of a continuation, continuation is if this market has broke this ranging, it means it will go that distance. That's what a continuation means. So it will go this distance. But you see here, we want to come with a, to a conclusion of what are we really trading before even we place a buy, before even we think this market is going to cover that distance. What are we trading really? Are we trading a continuation? <clears throat> or oh, this is a fake out that wants us to buy and immediately the market does what? The market sells. So what are the chances? What are the red flags that this market can sell? What are the signs that this market can go up? So the far, it's only one sign, guys. If a resistance is broken, already you need to understand if it is a resistance that has RB, um, BOS resistance. If it's resistance that is equals BOS, what you need to understand is that on daily, it has to break. So it has to break. On weekly, it has to break. On monthly, it has to break. So if you find that, one a resistance is breaking on one time frame and the rest is not breaking, it means that that resistance is weak. So the biggest of uh, the resistance that is firm is suppose on the on the daily you can see it breaking, on the weekly you can see it breaking, on the monthly you can see it breaking. If it breaks on the daily and fail to break on the lower on other higher time frame, it means that break that you're seeing might change to be a fake out. You see, so how do you identify a fake out from a continuation if it is breaking on only one time frame and the other time frame it's failing to break? So what we will check, we check daily has it broke and then we come and say yes. Weekly has it broke, we say yes. Monthly has it broke, yes. Now, if it has broke, you now try, you go to lower time frame to look for retest so that the market can do what? Can go above. But you can't come to look for a retest if you have not ascertained that on the daily monthly it has broke. And that I think it's the easiest way to trade um, any BOS. That is the easiest way to trade BOS, guys. So what we'll do here, I want us to go to the daily. Daily it is for sure it has broken. You see, daily it has it has broke out of that. Um, it has broke out of that zone or channel. So daily. It is evident it has broke. So daily has one mark, it has broke. So let's go to weekly to check. Is Has weekly done the same as the weekly uh, candle broke? And you have to understand uh, on the daily, you have to know which day you are on because it can break on the weekly on Wednesday, but the time the candle is closing, it has not broke. So you have to know which day was this. This day was Thursday. So we have to wait until Friday on the daily so that we can ascertain that on Friday the market broke on the 
weekly. So here, the last candle should be Friday so that you can get accurate results. So when you go to the weekly, weekly chart, what do we see on the weekly chart? Let's see. On the weekly chart, has it broke? Yes. So we have breaking on the daily and breaking on the weekly. So the only time frame that now we are remaining is monthly. Because if you start trading this buy and say, I will buy because weekly has broken, who told you if monthly has broken? And that's the mistake many majority of retail traders do. They don't wait. They don't have patience. So you have to check which, which week is this. This is the week of 10th July. So we have the week of 17th July. We have another week of 24th July. And then we get into the week of 31st July. So it means this market has to have four candles before we flip to them. The market has to reach there before we flip to the monthly. So it means even if the market has broke like this, you still have to have patience for the monthly candle to close so that when you flip, you find all the time frame have aligned. So BOS strategy, mostly you have to do time frame alignment because there's no way the market can tell you I have broken this resistance and you, when you go to daily or weekly, it has not been broken. You can't trace such a market. So let's, uh, we wait for the first week, Monday, Tuesday. So this is the last week of uh, Monday. So there is 30th, 31st. So we wait for that candle to close so that we can go to the monthly time frame. So once we go to the monthly time frame, now we can go to the monthly time frame. I hope guys you have understood what I've done. When you go to the weekly time frame, you just want to have a lot of patience for that month for that month to close so that you can flip on the monthly. If you flip on the monthly with this first candle, in your mind you will say even monthly has broke, but that monthly candle has not closed. One month has not ended. So when you go to the monthly time frame, I want you to see daily the market had broke, weekly the market had broke. The question is, did monthly break? You see, when you have daily has broke, monthly, and you see, did the question is, did the monthly break? No. So this candle that you're seeing, this is what you're seeing on the daily and the weekly. So what is the conclusion? Who has won? Is it a fake out? Is it a, is it a fake out? Is it a continuation? So what you need to understand, for you to understand if the market is a fake out, three time frame has to align. There are at least three, monthly, weekly, daily. That breaking has to align everywhere. Like if you flip on all your time frame, it has to, to align. So from what you can see, monthly has not broken, but weekly it has broke. Meaning one is telling you to buy, but the monthly now it's clear because the monthly is your overall. Monthly is telling you this is a fake out. So you can see if this is a fake out, you can now try to say, I'm not now trying to buy, I'm trying to sell. And this is when you will spot this small double top on the monthly. And your work is to check, has it uh, broke our half? So this double top, this being our neckline, our half was broken. You see how easy it is. Yes, you're waited for one month, but that one month will help you to do what? To get to the take profit of the neckline. So yes, you have waited. We are not, we are not refusing, but 193 pips are accurate profit. And that's why you see sometimes um, when you wait and you have patience, you'll be having easy trades. So you come and do short position and you want 193 pips and you say, let me, I will wait to one month end and let's see what happened to that month. So that candle had not closed. You can see we still had a lot of days, but eventually the candle closed. Let's see what happened in the next month. Did the TP hit? The TP was hit and actually the market continued. Guys, what I want to tell you is that BOS strategy is the powerful strategy that you can incorporate, incorporate in your trading, um, uh, trading, uh, your trading life. Every time our resistance is broken, ask yourself, has four hour broke, has daily broke, has monthly broke? Because this market, as much as it broke on the daily and the weekly. On the monthly, it didn't break. So yes, one month you will wait. You'll be waiting for direction. But the next month, it was easy. This market event, it didn't retrace. Why? You're not trading with 
with understanding, you're trading knowing that this market did not break, meaning that it has it will give you good entry, it will give you good position. There's there is nothing I cannot emphasize enough. I want you to always check. When the resistance is broken on daily or four hour, you have to combine it on the daily. If you certain the daily has broken, you have to certain it with weekly. If weekly it has broken, your last push is monthly because the only way to trade a strategy of BOS break of structure and be accurate. Because at the end of the day, you're not you're you're not a scalper. If you're a scalper, you might it might be breaking and then you enter short term entries. But if you want to hold a trade, you can hold it and you can keep entering the same direction for a whole month. You need time frame alignment when it comes to break of structure. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this was uh, helpful. I hope we have understood. All the best. Love you guys.